Hey guys, welcome to my reading list for the weeks of February 4th to February 19th. Um, I do have a few books that I did not get to uh, in the last two weeks. I feel like I say that every time. <laughs> and a number of books that um, I got oh, that I'm going to read that for my two-year pile. But most of these are electronic books. So I'll do the books that I didn't get to last week first. And I'm doing this actually kind of early in the week before. So I'm assuming I'm going to get through reading Obsidio and The Astonishing Color of After in the Golden Yarn in the last like four days of the week. Um, and then I will have these ones left over that I'm not going to get to. But we'll plan on reading the next two weeks. That's The Night Realm by Annette Marie, which is the first book in the Spellweaver series. In the Night Garden by, uh, this is the first book in the Orphan's Tales duology by Catherine M. Valente. And then Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. And this is actually the only like book book I have in this pile. So the next um, month, month and a half, I'm going to be going through and reading the rest of the Kindle books that I got that I've had for a number of years. So this is kind of the end of my to be read pile. Um, I kind of focused on my physical books first because it was nice to get those cleaned out and now I'm trying to clean out my Kindle of stuff. So all of these are ones that are on my to be read pile that I'm going to read in the next couple of weeks. Um, the first one of those is Heart of Brass by Felicity Banks and this is the first book in the Antipodean Queen. It's a steampunk series that's supposed to be pretty good. Um, so I'll be reading that in the next couple of weeks. This one is a really old one I got for Kindle for free a long time ago. And it's the first book in the H&M Investigation series, Hunted by the Others by Jess Haynes. Um, this is an urban fantasy, typical like investigative urban fantasy with vampires and stuff. I actually haven't read it because I hadn't heard it was very good. And I'm kind of trending out of urban fantasies now. I'm kind of sick of them. So um, I have this feeling this one might not be a do not finish for me, but I'm going to go and start it and see, see if I am like drawn into the story. Um, the next one we have is actually a novella by Brandon Sanderson called Firstborn. I've read most of Sanderson's books. I have not started reading the Stormlight Archives yet because, I don't know, I'm going to try to read The Way of Kings in the next couple months and get caught up in that. But I've read almost all his other stuff. Um, he is starting a new series called Skyward anywhere, so I'll probably try to <laughs> read that when it comes out. But this is actually a like science fiction novella that he wrote. Um, I got it, again, really cheap for Kindle a long time ago and just never read it so I plan on reading that in the next couple weeks I think it's like 40 pages long so it's pretty short um, but it should be fun this is another really old one I got for 99 cents I can old number number of years ago and this is shadow magic by shadow magic by John Lenahan and this I believe is the first book in I think it's a shadow magic series it's supposed to be a fantasy adventure for young adults from ages 12 to 112 that's what this little writing says so I think it involves fairy or fae and it's kind of an urban fantasy fantasy adventure thing I don't even know really but I got it it's one of those 99 cents ones I got for Kindle so I will try to get that read in the next couple weeks and then the last one I got is actually when I got for review um, it comes out the beginning of March so I'm going to try to read it mid-February so I can post a review a couple weeks before release um, and that is That Ain't Witchcraft by Shauna McGuire and this is the eighth book in the encrypted series and I believe it's the third book told from Antony Price's point of view. Um, I haven't been liking her as much as Verity, but they've still been really good urban fantasy novels that are funny and have a lot of action in them. So um, this is one of the few urban fantasy series I am still reading. So that's what I have on my plate to read in the next couple weeks. Um, so, you know, those two, three, four... <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight books on the list. Um, there's another graphic novel I'm going to be getting called And Then Everything Went Wrong, and that is the uh, fourth or fifth book in the High Low graphic novel series, which is a middle grade um, graphic novel series that me and my son have been reading together. It's actually supposed to come today, but I don't know if it will because we're having some winter weather problems in Minnesota. Um, in addition to that, I'll probably get a couple Lumberjames graphic novels to read in between everything else. So um, 
So there'll be a couple more than just those uh, eight books in the next couple weeks, but that's the main bulk of it. Um, if you did hear screaming in the background, that is my son playing Fortnite, and he has not had school at all this week. This is the week of the um, the last week of January, so this will be posting on February 4th. This is the week previous to that. Uh, his school has been closed. Monday it was for snow. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is closed for cold weather. So right now the temperatures in the morning have been minus 30 and the wind chill has been minus 60. Um, it was actually bad enough today that a lot of places are closed. The postal service is not delivering mail. Um, I believe FedEx is not delivering packages today. Um, I was told by my work and basically most of 3M company was told to work from home if possible and not come in. Um, it's, it's bad. Like we have frost form forming on the inside of our windows. What's happened that happens when the humidity is higher in the house than it is inside and it's super, super cold outside. So, um, I don't know what to say. I could talk about it for a while because it's super unpleasant. Like yesterday I did go into work and I had lab work to do. So I had to go in and I was walking to my car, which is maybe a one or two minute walk. It's not like super long, but it's not super short either. And like, you know, the ins your nose hairs freeze when you breathe. Um, your cheeks go instantly numb. Like you can feel you're starting to get frostbite like on your cheeks and nose. So you're like trying to cover everything and just leave your eyes open. And that was a pretty short walk. And then everything is just cold like your toes go numb instantly when you go outside even though I'm wearing fleece lined boots with thick socks and a coat and huge mittens and everything else so very very cold um we are going to be at a hockey tournament this weekend I'm not doing a stacking shelves because of that uh, I actually didn't get more I only got one book so I'll save it for next week um but the bizarre thing is, is there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're supposed to be 45 degrees. Yes, four or five degrees on Sunday, which is three days from today. So if you do the math, we're at minus 60 degree wind chills, but we're supposed to be 45 degrees by Sunday. So that is a 110 degree Fahrenheit change in temperature. Um, so yeah, that's kind of mind blowing. It's going to feel like, I mean, seriously, people will not be wearing jackets and some may even be in shorts when it's 45 degrees outside because it is going to feel so warm compared to what we're having now. All right. I'm in this one, so I have to talk ad nauseum about the weather. That's what we do here, especially when the weather stops our lives. <laughs> like All the schools are closed. Basically, everything is shut down. We have cleaners that come every other week and they canceled and... Post office was closed. As I mentioned, like everything just stopped. No after school activities. I was supposed to go volunteer to help with Knowledge Bowl tonight, um, but that is canceled and like everything is done. Which is actually, it's kind of nice in a way. Like you, as long as you have enough food and stuff, which I will say Sunday night, like people were seriously at Target getting food. It was insane because everybody wanted enough food to last the whole week because you don't have to go out and get food. And um, we have plenty of food. It's warm. We've been watching um, animes and hanging out at night, doing our weightlifting and cardio <laughs> routines, um, you know, playing some basketball down in the basement and shooting hockey and darts and that kind of stuff just kind of hanging out inside it's like a mini Christmas break kind of except for like me and my husband are still having to work from home so um but it's nice to not have to leave so it's good all right this is way longer than I meant to have um I will talk to you guys next week um there should be a stacking of shelves next week and or actually this will release on monday so it'll be this coming friday that that will happen um i hope you guys got a, a lot of great books and i will talk to you later this week bye